Hello, I'm Todd Smith, and this is your appellate tip of the week. This week's tip is which courts of appeals are extending briefing deadlines. In addition to the coronavirus, we've had a new type of virus that has attacked our appellate court system here in Texas, and that is uh, some ransomware that was used to basically hijack the um, intermediate appellate courts and the Texas Supreme Court and Court of Criminal Appeals websites. This occurred uh, about two weeks ago, and so the sites have been down ever since. And so what we're starting to see now um, is some of the intermediate courts are issuing blanket orders that are extending briefing deadlines to give parties some relief in this situation. And so the first ones that I became aware of were out of the first court of appeals in Houston. Um, this was issued on May 19th. Uh, the 14th court issued a, a virtually identical order uh, on the same day. And then since then, uh, two other courts have followed suit. The sixth court of appeals has issued an order that follows the same basic structure. And then um, also the 11th court of appeals in Eastland the 6th is in Texarkana and the 11th is in Eastland, have issued orders dated May 20th, so the following day after the Houston orders, uh, basically adopting the same approach. And so that approach is uh, these orders generally um, extend briefing deadlines automatically, including uh, those for which an, an, an extension was already requested. Um, if your clock is ticking, you, you automatically have in these courts until June 30th of 2020 to get your briefs in uh, without having to file a motion to extend time. Now, there are some limitations. Uh, as you see here, the order, uh, generally these orders, just speaking generally, do not apply to uh, original proceedings such as mandamuses, uh, parental termination or child protection cases, uh, juvenile cases, um, and cases in which a briefing order was issued on or after May 8th, which was about the time that the ransomware attack was launched. Um, so the, the Supreme Court, though, has set up a page where you can have some limited access to uh, court orders and opinions that are coming out of these courts of appeals. This is txcourts.net slash orders. There's a similar page for opinions. And so if you if you navigate to that page, you should be able to tell whether the Court of Appeals in your case has issued a blanket order extending your deadline. So what you see here is the first Court of Appeals order that I just referenced. No orders out of the second, uh, second court or third court. No blanket order out of the fourth court or the fifth court. The sixth court we've already gone through. The Seventh Court of Appeals, no blanket order. Same for the Eighth Court of Appeals, Ninth Court of Appeals, Tenth Court of Appeals. Here we have the Eleventh Court of Appeals blanket order and no blanket orders out of the Twelfth or Thirteenth and the blanket order that was issued out of the Fourteenth. So this is the site to check to get the most up-to-date information. And this is important. Uh, you, you cannot assume that your court is going to issue a blanket order. Uh, I just learned today that the Third Court of Appeals uh, doesn't have any immediate plans to issue a blanket order. Um, they are, however, because the ransomware uh, attack is being addressed properly. Uh, filings are starting to be processed through the ordinary uh, system that they have, the Thames system, and or rulings are starting to come out on existing extension requests. So I've actually received two uh, rulings today on extension requests that I made uh, earlier in the month of May, and those deadlines were extended short of June 30th, uh, as they would be you know, in, in the ordinary course. And so it's not clear at all at this point whether the third court or any of these other courts I've mentioned are going to issue blanket orders. And as an advocate, I would not assume that they're going to. However, um, the Supreme Court and the courts of appeals justices have made it clear that extensions are going to be freely granted and so anyone who needs an extension of a briefing deadline, just follow the ordinary process if your court doesn't show up on this list and file a motion for extension, and it will in all likelihood be granted 
to give you some relief from uh, a deadline, specifically if you've had a problem with getting a record and so forth, which has been common uh, during these uh, dual virus situations. So check this website to make sure before you assume anything, but make sure you get an extension request on file if your court does not appear on this list in the order. There's no order available uh, granting a blanket extension. That's it for this week's tip. We'll see you next time.